Hey there, welcome to the channel. My name is Matt. Today we're going to transfer Mini DV Video 8 and VHSC to Mac using the Lifelix software. In case you haven't heard of Lifelix, it is a importing software available for Mac computers. It does work with all versions of Mac OS, which is great. I tested this with Catalina, but I've actually downgraded since then back to Sierra and it works fine. So our first test is going to be with a Canon. My MacBook Pro uses a 9-pin, so you're going to need a 4-pin Firewire to a 9-pin Firewire connection. Uh, plugging in the Firewire and then plugging in the 4-pin into the camera. So this is what Lifelix actually looks like. By simply clicking the Import button, a new window is going to open where you give the tape a name. You can give it a description. So you'll hit play on the camera and then simply select import and Lifelix will start showing the video and it'll break down all the scenes. So every time you hit stop on the camera and start a recording something new, each one of those moments is a scene. So it's going to do the whole tape, so I won't bore you doing the whole tape. Okay, so now we have a collection of all the scenes. Now the great thing about Lifelix is that you are able to swap around the scenes any way that you want. It's got a collection all the way through each time that uh, the camera was stopped and started. So the interesting thing that I, at first I wasn't sure if I'd like this, but I actually do like it now. When you look at just a single scene, the trimmer is only editing just that one little scene. And I think that's actually great. When it comes to just these short little clips, as you can see we've got 5 seconds, 9 seconds, 13 seconds, this is actually ideal because you're just trimming just that one little scene to the way that you want. So before you convert to HD, if you do Command A and then Combine, it's going to combine everything into one video. Otherwise you're just exporting all the individual scenes one by one into little clips. It does take a little bit of time. So now that I've got a complete clip, goes for 9 minutes 31 seconds, I can convert this to HD. So here's the video on the desktop and it's in the MOV file. Next up we have the Digital 8 camera, but what I'm using is a standard Video 8 cassette. So same concept as before, 9 pin Firewire from the Mac into the 4 pin Firewire into the camera. The reason why I like the Digital 8 cameras is that it's going to let me play Hi8 and Video 8 and I'm able to import it straight into Lifelix. Okay, so here we are back inside Lifelix. During the recording, no, obviously, as it says, no audio will play, but the sound does come out. We'll have a look at the samples after. Okay, so finally, how do we get VHS into Lifelix using a Firewire import? So if you have one of these, which is a Canopus ADVC55, you can play VHS as the phone jacker says. Again, this time you're going to need a different type of Firewire connection. It's going to be 6-pin to 9-pin. So the 6-pin will connect into the ADVC, so like I'm trying to say ACDC, but you know what I mean, into the silver box. And we're back to the Firewire on the laptop. Then we're just going to plug the composite cables directly into the ADVC. And as you can see, the red light shows that it's uh, lit up and powered. Hit play on the VCR, hit import in Lifelix, and it will start importing the video. So when you're doing long clips like this, or a whole tape, um, obviously it's not going to break the scenes up compared to like a mini DV camera or video A camera. So this is just going to be one continuous long shot. So let's take a look at some results. The first is going to be the mini DV. So the sound and the picture quality is fine. Okay, so looking at the properties for a nine and a half minute uh, small clip it is at 273 megabytes 
and the kilobits per second is 4017 or 4019 at 25 frames a second. Okay, next up we have the video 8. Let's see what that one was like. Come on, Jack, back him up. Yeah, Jack. Okay, so let's have a look at the quality. On this, I was actually quite short. So I only did this for like two and a half minutes or just on three minutes, something around that. So we've got 202 megabytes. And, oh, there we go. 2.55 and the kilobits per second is 9715 at 25 frames a second. The interesting thing is that it records at 1920 by 1080. Okay, last we have the VHS which was recording the planes. 190 vampires flew under RAAF charge. They replaced meteors and were in turn replaced by the saber in the fighter role. So as you can see, the and quality the... is fine. Don't have an issue there. Just looking at the properties. This time, for an 11 and a half minute clip, we have 805 megabytes. And again, at, recorded at 1920 by 1080 and 9600 kilobits per second. Um, just slightly off from 25 frames but still it's fine I'll leave a link in the description to Lifelix and Firewire cables from Amazon leave a like and I'll see you in the next video